hello to you all. I thought we would do a chair healing today, especially for all of you empaths out there. We'll work on your protection and your balance and your grounding, as well as giving you a chair Reiki treatment. So this will take about 20 minutes, something like that, a nice, quick, short one to get you ready to go out and about with a good barrier up so that you don't absorb everyone else's negativity. Okay, so settle yourself down nice and comfortably. And I'm just going to ground and protect myself first and then ground and protect you. Okay, so Take a couple of breaths in. And start to relax your body. Get yourself nice and comfortable. Relaxing the muscles of your head. Smoothing out that furrowed brow, working on the muscles around your eyes, just releasing any tension. Relax. Relax. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Wind yourself down. Now moving down your face to the muscles around your nose, your cheeks and jaw. Dropping your tongue to the lower front teeth, relaxing that tongue. And now we go down the neck and the shoulders. Smoothing out any tension, relaxing your arms all the way down to your wrists and even your fingers. Take a breath in and release that tension as we move down the body now. Chest, midriff, hips and lower back. And now the creases in your thighs, relax them all the way down to your knees and your feet. All the way down to your little tootsies, relax, relax. Now at your feet, imagine the chakras opening up on the bottom where the bridge, the arch of your foot is and imagine those meridian lines shooting out roots like a tree spreading into the earth and downwards down through the soil down through the rocks down through the strata into the crystal and mineral pools of the inner earth. What crystals are you seeing? What colours? Root into them. And as you start to breathe in, the energy of those crystals works its way up your root system and into your body, up your legs and into the root chakra, swirling around it. It opens it and moves up to the sacral, opening and activating that, it moves up to the solar opening and activating that energy center it continues up the chakra line to the heart swirling around opening the heart center it continues up to your throat 
swirling around it, opening it and activating it. It continues to your third eye, which it swirls around, opening and activating it before your crown, which it swirls around, opening and activating before it is pushed out of the top of your head and spills back down around you like a fountain to be drawn up through your feet and out of your crown in a perpetual motion of cleansing, of grounding and of healing. And breathe out, release. Okay. So we have grounded and we have protected all in the same motion, if you like. Now, let's draw the master symbol completely down your body to overlight this treatment. Daikumyo. 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 So just your hand on your shoulder. I'm going to draw in the say, hey, key, the clearance symbol. Say hey key. Say hey key. Say hey key. Now the distance healing system to go back behind you on what you've experienced already and to project it forwards in front of you to help with any situations. Honcha Tse Sho Mm Honcha Tse Sho Mm Honcha Tse Sure. Mm. And then the activation, the chokore. 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 Okay. Breathe out. Relax. Now, we're going to work in the empath. So we're going to clear your aura out now. I'm going to ask Saint Germain and the angels of the violet fire and the violet flame to surround you and your room, your house, your buildings. I'm going to ask them to activate that golden flame now to cleanse. Cleansing your body, mind and spirit, your environment your car, your place of work, wherever it is that you need cleansing in, think of that place now, even if you're not in it, and setting these intentions will send that to that space as well as doing you now. Okay, thank you. You may feel tingling as that comes in. Particularly a lot around your minds at the moment. I'm really sensing energy up here. I'm just going to clear out the crown and the back of your head. And now let's move down the body. So this is going to be particularly good if you are an empath. 
If you pick up other people's emotions, I'm just clearing from the lower part of your body now as you sit. We all want to relate to people, don't we? And we can all put ourselves in their shoes, but sometimes it's too much. So make sure that if you know you're going to see a friend with a problem, that you just put yourself in that violet flame bubble before you meet them. That way you're protecting yourself and not taking on that energy. We can all try to understand and console, console people. And that's a good human thing to do. But make sure when you leave them, perhaps watch this video or perhaps just ask those angels to activate the violet flame so that it doesn't bog you down, so that you can't stop thinking about them because you've got your own life to live. Okay, I think we need a bit of selenite. Okay, brushing at your crown now. And down the far side of your body from where I am. Lift your foot up. As I run it up that back line now. And over your head. Now we're going to do the other side. So I'll cross over, walk around you. And brushing that aura down. All the way down your body. Now lift up that other footsie, okay, and up the back line over. Now completely down your front, cutting any cords, ties that are holding you back. Gonna go completely down the back line in the same way. Down your shoulders now. Your midriff. Your buttocks. And the back of your legs. We ask the viewers, guides, angels and ancestors, animals and deity to protect them, to walk with them. Even if the viewer doesn't know they're there, help them. Help them navigate this difficult world of other people and their problems. Help the viewer to navigate their own with clear sight and correct intuition. Help them to see the bigger picture and with violet flame energies, if they are confused, clear that confusion. So crystals that can help you with this would be amethyst, selenite would be another one, apophyllite, and sodalite. Sure, there are many others, but those spring to mind. 
Now, let's work on some barriers. Okay. So imagine yourself, you know how you feel. And imagine a candle flame right at the center of your being, probably in between heart and solar plexus. I want you to imagine glowing and growing that flame out, pushing out those emotions and worries that aren't yours. And of course, some of the excess that you carry, which is yours. Push that flame out. You see me say this in all of the videos, pushing it out, well, a lot of the videos rather, to each direction, left, right, front, back, above and below. And extend that light around your aura. You can also push it out past your aura so it makes a complete fire barrier and will hopefully burn in between there before getting into your aura here. So you can do that with fire energy and for extra cleaning, violet flame energy. Let's send that in now. You may feel tingling some of you, that is the violet flame. And now I'll just change it to normal Reiki. You might have felt like a drop, a slowing down of vibration. This is Reiki that I'm sending out now. And you ramp it up again so you can feel violet flame, tingling energy coming in. Coming out of my hands now. If you felt a different sensation, you are feeling the chi. Don't worry if you can't feel the chi though. Setting the intention and hoping, I think, is enough. Okay. Around that bubble, you could also place black obsidian, imagining a very thin layer. And you can do that with other crystal energies. If you need a bit of love, you can... Imagine your bubble as rose quartz. Mine's a very powerful thing. And some people have suggested, oh, it's the power of suggestion, Reiki. And it is as well. It is that too. But the suggestion can help your mind and your body kickstart and trick yes perhaps it is a bit of trickery but I say if it gets you through the day what does it matter it's far better that you trick yourself into feeling better and having better emotions than you just screaming at everyone or collapsing in tears so yes the power of suggestion no problem with it at all I'm sensing a bit of trouble in some of your knees, so I'm going to hold my hands down. Directing it at the knees, and I'm going to draw the Tibetan master symbol into your knees, purely because it's a circular symbol and it, it kind of fits better on the kneecaps. So, Daikumyo. Freedom of movement, loss of stiffness, collagen. We ask the Reiki to seek out those imbalances, those injuries to your knees and to help you move forward in your life. Okay, breathe out. Let's see if I'm sensing any quite difficult to sense when there might be 60,000 people watching all with different needs. Abdomen, so you're going right down to that sacral. And this is a chakra aligned to water. 
So emotions do stick here. They might give you a bit of backache. You might get fibroid issues. You might get abdominal issues. Just going to place a hand on each hip. And regulate that energy into an infinity symbol. Imagine it rushing around your hips, crossing in the middle, whether you're male or female. This is still considered a place of emotion and creativity. Imagine beautiful, beautiful orange light going into your sacral chakra. I'm going to draw a choker ray into the solar plexus. And now let's ground you in, especially you who are empaths. If you're not already sitting with both feet on the floor, yogi is all right as long as you are symmetrical. Now, we've talked about roots coming out of you before. Take your consciousness down to your root chakra, which is where your pelvic floor is. And I want you to send energy downwards. Visualise a root if you need to, or just a beam of light. Separating, going down your legs and out of your feet into the ground below you, down, down and down they grow, root them into amethyst this time for that cleansing, okay, you could also use black, brown, red crystals, pyrite would be another good one and also petrified wood, red jasper, bloodstone. Okay, probably feel a lot more stable now, don't you? Just by having a quick clearance and grounding in your energy. Okay, so I'm just going to walk around you and sense your auric field. If there is any part of you that is perhaps palpitating, sorry, touch the mic then, perhaps palpitating, rushing, Maybe it feels heavy, like there's a lump in it. As I walk around you, think of that area now. I'm going to come behind you and do the same thing. So scanning your own body, seeing if there are any lumps or bumps anywhere, anything that feels uncomfortable. As I move down, just sending that Reiki in, filling those places. Draw the Tibetan symbol, the Daikunyo, Tibetan master symbol, Daikunyo. To overlight anything, to bring things back into harmony, to help you gain mastery. And now we'll use, just to completely ground you right at the end, we'll use the Master Araku symbol. It looks like a double lightning strike. Drawing it from the top of your head, all the way down to your feet. Okay, lovely. Now, let's just 
close those chakras up a little bit, not completely, I'm just going to motion. Because they always need to be a little bit open so that we can function. Love and light to you, my friends. I hope this healing has helped you. Quick pick me up or as I said, completely helping you as an empath. Now let's do the countdown. As I place my hands on your shoulders further, grounding you. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Love and light to you.